What's up, everybody? It's Mr. Movie X Kicks and a review of Avengers Endgame is coming up right after this. Wow. It's, it's crazy to see that this movie has finally came and gone. It's been... 22 movies in the making, 11 plus years. I usually like to write like a script up, you know, the detailing, you know, everything I'm going to say. But this time I'm just kind of going to gonna wing it with this. I'm not going to try to give away too many spoilers. Um, this is pretty much going to be a spoiler uh, free review. I really don't do spoiler reviews. That's really kind of not my style. But, but for this movie, I'm probably going to have the spoiler free, I mean, a spoiler review um, probably later on in the weekend. I kind of want the movie to come out, even though I know there's a whole bunch of spoilers um, out there already. I just kind of want to give you guys a brief synopsis of the movie and kind of like my take of it. Um, so basically, the movie starts out um, right after uh, Infinity War ends and half the population of the universe is gone. Um, the surviving characters left, um, Thor, Black Widow... Iron Man, Nebula, um, you War know, Machine. Uh, it's 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 a few Hulk. You know, it's a few people left um, trying to kind of get get their groove back, and they're they're stuck because the Avengers have always managed to come out on top. They've always beaten all their foes, and this time they've actually lost. Like half their friends are dead, half the population is gone. And so now they're trying to go on to find Thanos to see how they can reverse this process if any way possible. And and basically the movie goes out through five years later, um, and they're still trying to they're still dealing with the effects of half the population being gone governments are pretty much disbanded the world's kind of in disarray if you will um, and then our favorite Ant-Man comes back from being if you can remember Ant-Man in his movie was uh, he went into the quantum quantum zone and then he was lost in there when Thanos snapped his finger and everyone disappeared he came back five years later to, to found out he came back five years later to find out everyone was pretty much gone and he was trying to figure out exactly how he can fix this and then ant-man alone comes up with an idea of coming back to the quantum physics where he can go back into time with the avengers to somehow reverse what has just happened so that's a brief synopsis like i said i'm not going to give you too much that's pretty much the best um, synopsis I can give you without giving you everything um, you know telling you if people come back or not like I said I want people to go see it I want people to enjoy this movie because I thoroughly enjoyed this movie now keep in mind this movie is um, three hours long so I didn't go pee like I held my pee for three hours I was so <laughs> impressed with myself because <laughs> it was hard I was just like because you don't want to miss anything because there, there are points in the movie where you can go to the restroom, but you just, you just don't know when they are. Um, you know, the good things I will say about this movie is that it, it does a lot. It, it kind of like doesn't have a lot of action, but the action that it does have is worth the wait. Like, you know, more towards the end of the movie, it's just pretty much the last act is just everything. And to me, I like the first and second act building up to, you know, the climax of, of this and, and basically and how how are the Avengers going to, you know, um, fix fix what has been broken, you know, and and when they give the idea of how they're going to do it and then they go to enacting that plan and you see all these different synopsis and, and ways that they're trying to fix what has been broken and you're just like, wow. Now, I will tell you that you probably have to watch I'm not going to say you have to watch all 22 movies, but you should have watched all 22 movies by now. It's been almost 11 plus years, and like I said, 22 movies. But you kind of need to because they go back in in, uh, in grips to dealing with a lot of the other movies previously. So you kind of, you know, be like, well, I don't remember that. Well, if you don't remember the first Avengers, if you don't remember the first Thor, then you're kind of going to be kind of lost in this movie you know, up up to this point. I will say it's, 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 it's weird to come to an end like you know we're always looking forward to avengers movies and now that they're gone i think i i think the the fourth act they said is there might be another avengers but i, I really can't see how that's happening and and 
But the one thing I can say is that I love the closure in this movie. Like, every T is crossed, every I is dotted, you know, um, nothing is left unturned. Like, at the end, um, I will tell you, um, not every superhero makes it. There are some, you know, some deaths, but we all knew that was kind of coming. I'm not going to tell you who died. Um, one of the persons I kind of already knew because I kind of heard they might bite it. So I wasn't as shocked, but then it was a couple other ones and I was just like, huh, didn't see that one coming at all. So that, that did shock me. So be prepared. I'm not telling you who's getting it, when they're getting it. Just be prepared. And now I keep hearing a lot of people say they were crying. And I, I didn't cry. I'm not, I'm not. I mean, sometimes I, I'm a sucker for movies. I'm not going to tell you like I'm like this big macho guy that doesn't cry during movies. I do sometimes, but this one, it really, it didn't tug at my heartstrings, you know. Uh, but but I will say, the Infinity War, when all them people died, when the Stanley Stanley figures, that shit made me sad. But for this one, I really wasn't as sad, even though some characters were lost. So, um, but but uh, I have to say, man, I, um, some of my friends I went with, they said they weren't as crazy about it. They said they liked Infinity War better. To me, I thought this was a better overall movie than Infinity War, because I think a lot of people get the gist of Infinity War was a lot was action driven which I love like Infinity War is probably like Infinity War and, and Civil War are like neck and neck to me as far as action I love action based movies so I understand why people love Infinity War so much I'm not taking anything from Infinity War it was a great movie but um, but I think Endgame is, is just an exceptional movie I think it's it's the best Avengers in my opinion um, just the final act alone uh, kills every action scene beforehand but like I said it's the final act action scene you know in this epic saga so you know they're gonna go in you know you know it's gonna be an incredible amount of action so you know they're not gonna hold anything back you know in the, in the final act so with that said I, I just loved this movie um I'm gonna go see it again uh, I'm trying to figure out when I'm gonna go see it again I would like to go see it again this weekend but I, like I said it's a three-hour movie and a lot of times are sold out I'm glad I got in when I got in just to get in and get out and see this movie um, they're, they're tracking saying it's already broken records it's already had the highest pre-sale tickets of of all time um, you know I think it's already been viewed the trailers already been viewed more than like 28 million times or actually or more I think 200 no 280 million times it's, it's crazy and they said this movie is tracking to do almost between 250 to 260 million so just imagine a three-hour movie kind of like titanic basically becoming the highest grossing movie of all time so we're basically in history in the making right now so um so i, I love this movie i i recommend everyone to go see this movie especially if you're an avengers avengers lover uh like i was it was a great ending it was a great movie um no negatives if you ask me only negative i will say is that it was three hours long and you just don't know when to go pee oh, so uh, so everyone drop me some comments tell me have you seen this movie yet are you going to go see this movie tell me what you thought about this movie if you have seen it um tell me what was your dislikes or your likes about this movie drop some comments in below and let me know what's going on um as usual guys Please subscribe to my channel. I'm just hitting 200 subscribers. Thank you for everyone. And I just um, want to say thank you to everyone once again for uh, subscribing to me. Be sure to like and share my videos. And like I said, please drop me those comments. And let me know what you guys thought. And I, I told you guys I was bringing my uh, Thanos cup with the uh, I Survived the Snap. So this was actually a perfect shirt for the movie. So like always, guys, Mr. Movie X kicked us out. And I will holler at you guys later.